Good morning! Good morning! Today's a special day. What's happening? So today, I will be filming my first episode of my Airbnb villa tour. Yay! I've been doing a lot of room tours yeah. for hotels, for other Airbnbs, and it's just in my travel vlog. And I realized these places deserve its own vlog. So yesterday, Martin and I moved in in this beautiful Shargao Island villa, mm -hmm. which we vlogged about. Yes. The link is right here, also in the description box. As you all know, in every Ava Love In It vlog, there is always a dancing villa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> start this video I just want to share to you guys that I have an Airbnb discount code for first time Airbnb users and you can get 30 to 40 US dollars off upon your booking oh, that's pretty good if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Ava Lovinit and I make travel vlogs from all around the world. I'm currently in the Philippines, Shargao Island specifically, which is located in the southern part of the Philippines, the surfing capital of the Philippines. This island villa is located five minutes away from Cloud9, the very first surfing spot in Shargao Island. This place is located in Kabitoonan Barangay which is about nine minutes drive from General Luna. Most of where the hotels, the hotspots, bars, restaurants are located. Since we got here we were greeted by the locals with a smile on their face and they're like welcome hi yeah. good morning so, true. so it's a very local community that lives here mm. it's also very quiet because yeah. it's away from everything it is here we got the porch yeah where we can do some yoga stretching Ooh. can we see an, an example of that okay, I, I i haven't done yoga but i can see this oh, very good cut, you know yeah. <laughs> i approve i approve <laughs> chill spot yeah with these very beautiful bamboo chairs let's see what i really like these in. bamboo chairs it yeah. looks so native mm. it's like coffee in the morning yeah, coffee in the you morning. know so sometimes you know when it rains there's also some like bamboo curtains that you can roll down mm. to avoid from the rain to enter the place the vicinity and who are these yeah. guys oh so this is clingy yesterday when we arrived clingy she was like all being cute she wants to be pet that's why i call her clingy the other one is smarty so when she's you, like a smarty pants when you book an airbnb here you have to also be aware that these guys will be living in with you better tell your airbnb host that you are allergic to cats or if you don't like cats around you but for Martin and I, we Gucci. We are cat lovers, we are dog lovers, animal lovers. The thing that I love about this villa is that it has huge windows that makes you feel as if you're outside when technically you're in the inside, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. When you breathe, it's fresh air, very fresh air yeah. because we're right by the ocean, which we will be showing to you later on. You don't want mosquitoes to get inside. True. No? Basically, what you see is what you get. There are no dividers. It makes the place more spacious. It has high ceilings, fans. Lights, there's fans. So it's not air conditioned. They're eco friendly like that, and so are we. You just literally have to open the windows and let the fresh air breeze yeah to your face all right so where do we start all right I mean, so there's... maybe we should start here since yeah. we're already here in why not <laughs> i like it yeah i like the teal color mm. it's one of my favorite colors as you may or may not know i knew that there's also a bamboo table oh wow yeah i like this view 
And you guys can see from here, you have full overview of the entire yeah. place. Over here, we got a very big kitchen. Yeah. We all want a big kitchen like this house. I know. <laughs> we have to get a kitchen like that. I think I'm going to talk about the island counter, which is very huge. Yeah. This is like my room in wow. Manila. Wow. That's hey, how big it is. Hey, I want to try something. If you go over here, Let's walk together next to each other and see how long it takes. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight second long kitchen counter. That's pretty. <laughs> that's that's good. Yeah, so it's a marble countertop, which I love because you know when you sometimes cook, it's a hot pan. You don't know where to put it. Yeah. But here you don't have to worry about it because you know that the marble top table won't burn. Found these baskets. I think this is for the bedroom. Sorry, Airbnb house if you're watching this. Since Martin and I don't have that much clothes, we decided to just put our eggs, yeah, our I think native it, eggs. It gives this nice uh, look to the kitchen. Yeah, and I also like our fruit, veggies, basket. And right over here is Martin's favorite spot, the espresso machine. Exactly. I learned to make the first espresso of my life yesterday with this machine. Underneath this countertop is where you can find the bowls, the plates. There's a lot of drawers where you can basically put a lot of things. You know, Katol? No, what, what's that for? Katol! You know, in the Bahay Kubo, we had this. I yeah. bought some Katol for us. There are a lot of mosquitoes here, so always make sure to have mosquito repellents and katol here you can actually entertain your guests like hey be a bartender or be a chef exactly and if you guys want to make a delicious cooking blogs please comment below i think this is going to be such a fun place to yeah. film the i'm loving it cooking blogs don't you think yeah i think yeah. so i, I kind of see this is the centerpiece of the home almost mm. things are yeah, being situated around nice this island. Well. So it's well lit, even at night, I had no problems cooking. I personally love gas stove because the electricity sometimes fluctuates, sometimes there's no electricity at all for the whole day. Having no electricity and working on an electric stove top is no bueno because True. that means no food no food we cannot <laughs> eat yeah i get hungry yes. when i get hungry i get grumpy and yeah. you don't want a villa when it's grumpy nope. Nope. and i also put the salt and pepper so that it's easy to yep you know did a good job everything babe. on the uh, reach here we also got some wine glasses some cute cups even these jars it's just a simple thing but when you put it inside these jars it looks <laughs> Sure. So shy. <laughs> Everything looks it's better. Steady. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our dining area, and also this is where Martin and I works because this is where the router is. So yeah. it's <laughs> Wi-Fi is you know, really good. Oh, here. there's also Wi-Fi here in our Airbnb. If you guys don't know, Martin and I are digital nomads. I travel around the world. I met my fiance right here, who's filming this vlog. Yes. Who's also a travel vlogger. The link is right here if you haven't subscribed. And also in the Marvel playlist, link is always below to watch our Marvel vlogs. The only thing is that this chair, it makes my butt hurt. Yeah, <laughs> it does. So we have to get one pillow yeah. from here to sit on. This is an area that no one has seen until now. We've been keeping this yeah. place off mm -hmm. social media. So this is the first time they're seeing it. Mm -hmm. I really like the bamboo frame. The bedding is awesome. A rack where I hung my clothes. 
Yeah. It's just aesthetically pleasing, I guess. No, For me, I it's can't. soothing to see my clothes hanging. It's always been inside the luggage that yeah. I don't get to see what I wear. It's just like, oh, this is clean? Okay, uh, let's no. just wear it. This is, this is yeah. nice. This is, mm -mm. this is a change for us. Instead of a carpet, there's a banig. What's a banig? Banig, this is the, like a Filipino, mm. I don't know what it's, a baka, I guess. When I was a kid, my family slept on this for three, four years yeah. until we get a mattress. Mm. That is why I love sleeping on a flat surface than a soft bed. Yeah, so we're I different that way. Yeah. <laughs> you were raised like that. Yes. I was. <laughs> That's why to me, this bed, I know I like it, but it's not as soft and you have to know that. Mm. It's a sliding one. So we actually put our clothing yeah. in mm -hmm. like this and that's something we never do. So this is Martin's side, this is my side. Yeah. This is where we also place our dirty laundries. We have a lot of mosquito repellent which actually I need some <laughs> right now. Mosquitoes are biting me. Yeah. So many mosquitoes. And this room has also sliding doors with a view of the outside. So this porch goes all the way out to the living room over there. I'm gonna close up this door because we have an air conditioning unit. We turned it off because we're not using it. When you're not using the air con or a fan, please turn it off, save energy, and also you save a lot of money. True. Le bathroom. All right. Yeah, Hello. there's also another door that leads to the bathroom from the kitchen or the dining area, living room. They only have one bathroom in this villa. It's so clean. Mm, it is. It doesn't, when you're showering, you're outside. Yeah. I always have to check if there are people. Yeah. <laughs> can they see me? <laughs> they can see me. <laughs> but they but, can. Yeah. The thing about these stairs is that you gotta be careful because there are no railings. I'm not sure if it's baby friendly, kids friendly. Make sure that if you go upstairs, you're not drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you're having a good night out, yeah. pray to God you're not sleeping upstairs. There she goes. Bye. When you wake up to this view, it's like, it gives that positive energy right away. This is the extra bed. We have an extra pillow. Hot we might have to bring that one downstairs. <laughs> it's a queen size bed, fit for two people. This is not an air conditioned room, unfortunately, but they do have an electric fan. And this is the closet. This is what it looks like. Nice. I mean, yeah, it's a big we're not closet. using it. Martin and I is living on a suitcase. That's why we don't have that much clothes. <laughs> yeah, but this yeah. villa is built mm -hmm. so you, you can stay for longer periods of time. Yeah. that you can rent out. I'm not sure how much it is, but I will put it on the description box below. And here we got the coffee shop. Nice, the coffee shop has a swing, you guys. So this is super nice. It's like the villas in the back, there's tents here, and then this is the common area of the resort. And normally this is like a fully functional cafe. There's also a swimming pool. Wow. I, think cool. I haven't tried it yet. We're gonna have to try it. Yeah, Definitely. I don't know how deep it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
just coming right in mm. from the ocean here you guys can see that the wind is just coming straight in from the ocean here I really love their bamboo furniture yeah. my favorite Luyan we call it Luyan there's a lot of different chill areas yeah, outside here we can chill here maybe Let's we can do a sit down video here yeah. this is what the property looks like from this angle mm. very nice you guys are you ready yeah let's go to the beach beach let's get it away wow so chill yeah. fresh air I know times are tough, but I've had enough of moving 